So hello everybody, my name is Jamie Life and welcome back for some more Forza Horizon 4. Today we have the Audi RS8. Is it the RS8? Yeah, no, the RS6. The RS6. Do you know what's incredible about this game? That all the cars I own were given to me, or I won them in some sort of way. So I haven't spent a single credit on buying a car, which is fantastic. Leaves me lots of credits for modification, which is my favorite part about this game. Okay, so today we have the RS6, and we're going to have a quick uh, test drive and see how she feels. And then we're going to extensively modify her and then do some speed runs. So first, we're going to do it in first person just to get a feel for what it sounds like from the interior. And then we'll do third person to see what it feels like from the exterior. Because actually, the t between first person and third person, there is actually a massive difference in sound. That was good. Interior, you tend to hear more of the potential turbo or supercharger that might be in the car. Whereas in third person, you could barely hear a supercharger. So uh, let's go for a nice casual drive. So we've got a flat paddle gearbox. I'm not really getting a lot of power, but I am shifting early. So for the hill. Oh, the gearing's off. So I have to fix that. Come on, chase the other Audi. We're better than an A3. Come on. I can't shift out because then I'll just redline it. Come on, that's it. Build up the revs. Come on. Build them up. There we go. Keep going. I'm off. So the gearing needs to be looked at. Alright, stop screaming at me. So now we're going to drive back to the house and see what the third person sounds like. Be a lot louder in third person. Why is he stopped behind me? So that's quite a nice sound coming from a stock engine. I like it, but hopefully we can swap it out for something a bit more beefy. He's gaining on me. That's like I don't know why I think I can race this guy. I have no modifications whatsoever. Although he's not gaining. But I can't corner. Okay. Is that the TT? Come on. Missed turning. Okay. I want to change the color as well. Make it a silver.
I want to make a silver because my dad actually had a... He had a Audi A4. Similar. Not the same, but similar. And it was it was a really nice silver. So I want to try and recreate that. But if I was going to do that, I'll have to keep the wheels stock. But uh, we'll see what happens. Anyway, let's see what we can give this baby. I'm predicting a V8. Yep, 6.2 litre V8 or... Oh, yes, a 5.2 litre V10. Oh, yes. Uh, it should... It's, yeah, it's already four-wheel drive. All-wheel drive. So, we're going to leave that stock. Uh, let's give it twin turbo for that insane power. Uh, don't want to do anything cosmetically. Uh... Change the tires to something more grippy, but I don't want the fours on the side. Want to try and keep this looking. Basically, want to make this like a sleeper. So, if you're unaware of what a sleeper is, a sleeper is a car that looks slow, but actually has some serious power behind it. So, this thing looks professional and looks like something a businessman would drive. But we're going to tune it and remake it into something that's very sporty unfortunately we do have to change the rims to make them lighter but that won't give too much away hopefully uh, let's bring these out for extra handling I found in general when modifying cars in this game, they all come to a total of about 100,000 credits. Which isn't bad, considering how, how many credits you do get across the line of this game. Uh, right, so... Yeah, we need that one. It does reduce the acceleration and launch, but we'll fix that when we're tuning. Uh, I need some new brakes, obviously. Brakes are one of the most key things of a car. If you are going to make something powerful and accelerate quickly and have a top speed of 200 or something, or even just 100, you need good brakes. Because that's it's the worst thing when you're coming to a corner doing 150 odd and you just can't stop it in time. It's all well and good having that acceleration, but if you can't handle... If you can't stop the acceleration, if you can't stop the speed of the car, it's completely pointless. Wow, that top speed is really high. Okay, install the setup. Now, what we could do, actually, is my dad's alloys on his Audi A4, they were never clean. So, we could make them slightly darker. Because what I like to do in this game, to signify that I've modded a car out to the max, I spray the wheels. That way I know which ones need modifying and which ones don't need modifying. So, if we spray them slightly black, I should know from the future... That it doesn't need modifying. Okay, let's have a look. Ah, that fixed up the gearing. Perfect. Don't need to adjust that at all. That is sweet. So 0 to 16, 2.3 seconds. That is amazing. 0 to 104.7. Still amazing. At a top speed of 265.6 miles per hour. Which is probably one of my best ones. Which is crazy. Uh, springs as low as possible. Want to make these even. Or near enough even. Don't want it sliding around. Want to try and make it as firm as possible. So we'll probably want the back end a little bit looser. So there we go. And then we'll raise this to 60. There we go. Right, now on to the painting. Okay, so 
We need to find the perfect silver. It was like a... It was a really bright silver. Uh, I need this one. Oh, maybe it's that silver. I th yeah, that is... That's quite close. That is, like, pretty much spot on. Then the wheels will make slightly darker. So we'll go to this. We'll get semi gloss. What do we want normal? Yeah, we'll do that. And then we'll leave the windows alone. Actually, can we tint them slightly? Because they were they weren't they were tinted slightly, if I remember correctly. So that should do it. There we go. All right. So let's take this bad boy out for a spin. Rocking a five point. What was it? Five point two or seven? V ten. Twin turbo. 0 to 60 in 2.3 seconds or something. I clearly have the memory of a goldfish. I want to hide the noise until we get to the road. Don't know what he's doing. So, overall, that's pretty close. The wheels, I should have done a bit darker, but I'll, ch <laughs> I'll change that later. But uh, let's have a listen to this thing. Not bad. I've heard better, but not bad. Now let's see what this thing can do in a sh somewhat straight line. That's not bad at all. No wheel spin from the start, which is fantastic. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this to the uh, the motorway and try and hit 260, whatever it said, miles per hour. Oh, look, someone's here. I think they dropped the control or something. Uh, head to head. Come on. I think they've legitimately just... Oh, no, they... Oh, I didn't accept. Okay, I'm racing them then. I'm going to catch ya. Damn, this thing is fast. Oh no. Come on, the speed traps up ahead. Nah, that won't be enough. I need to be doing like, my top speed.
Well, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Forza Horizon 4. If you liked it, hit that like button and hit that J to subscribe to my channel. And as always, I will see you all next time. Mm.